Okay guys, so here is the stairs and balustrades sheet. This has got a few different things on it, obviously stairs and balustrades. We've already shown you on the other sheet these balustrades here. We've got one, two, three, four more of this size. And we've got another one, two, three, four of this size as well. And as we go through on these ones, you'll see lots of different tiny bits you can pop out and different shapes. And it really gives the balustrades a kind of a, a cut out, pretty cool cut out sh um, look. Don't get rid of all these little bits. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There's 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 quite a few of these little bits on here. Um, and the real trick is is not to get rid of them because these make great look like broken rubble. And you can like the books, you can scatter these across your um, across your set. They look they just they just bring everything to life, which is really really cool. Okay, so we've got those, but we've also got some um, rope versions as well, which are these ones here. Okay, so if I pop these out, I can just show you these. So obviously, if you're if you're stone, you you've, you're setting it up as a sort of a stone top, as it were. You'd have the stone balustrade. If you're gonna if you're gonna set it up like this as a kind of a, a rope um, rope bridge um, wooden, as it were, then what you've got is the option to uh, have these really cool. Um, like so, these bits here, and that clips on one on there, one on there, and again you can use more clips to make it more secure. This is perfectly fine, and then you've got your really cool rope bridge, and you get a cut, you put like more of them. You, you can have these; the, it just looks amazing. Okay, you've got a load more of these torches again, which we've showed you um, how they work already. When you connect them onto your onto the top of your walls, you can connect them on here. Um, like so, which allow you to have wall detail like that. So you can have all these torches across your walls, which looks really, really cool. So you've got that. You've then got your stairs. You've got two sizes of stairs, wide and small. Okay, and again, be careful with these ones here. What you've got is here, we're going to pop that on there. We've got one. Now, in order to strengthen this, we've we've tried to keep the the slots on it as narrow as possible. Now, what that does mean, let's pop this on here. Do, 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 do. Uh, what it does mean is that the steps on them are a little bit more looser. And again, what happens is with something like this, um, it's perfectly fine. But I would say uh, that you'd probably want to. Um, because again, they're not reversible. You don't need to be able to, um, you know, ever take them apart, as it were. Then it's probably a pretty good idea to just just glue the steps in. There you go. Boop, 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 boop. Okay. And so that's what we did with this one. We actually glued them in, um, and uh, you know that's it. I mean, these are so, it's solid. It's brilliant. It's so, it's it's like it's like it's like a plastic terrain or something. Um, so yeah, um, absolutely. This is kind of okay, but you probably want to to give it give it a little bit more strength in game, so you're not messing anything about. Um, I'd recommend that you 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 can glue them as it were. Now here we go. Um, if you want to pop that one in there, that creates the stairs that run up to, you know, another level as it were. Um, so, lastly, you've got these little fascias here. There you go. So. Here's a wall. If I want to build up another level on top of here, if I do it like that, I'm going to have this really funny ramp sticking out and it doesn't look right. However, if I'm building up and I've got a walkway across, when I put this on here, it looks perfectly fine because that's exactly what would happen. And then you'd have your balustrade on and there's plenty of space for people to go wandering down here okay but on the other side I've got it's like this which again is fine if I've got you know something else going on at the other side but if I haven't then I want to get rid of this this kind of shape here because it doesn't look right so what we do is we take the ramps off and we remove these wall clips here 
and we bring in the multi clips. You get half a sheet of multi clips. These clips allow you to build up on here without that horrible ramp overhang. Okay, so you just pop a couple of these off like so, and these replace your clips. Okay, now what you're going to do is to convert a wall. Instead of having two ramps, you remove one of the ramps and replace it with two of these. Okay, so what we do is we grab our new multi clip and we pop it into here, like so. And we can pop this one into here, like so. And the, the slot on here is slightly wider, it's a little bit wide. So you've got this gap here. And what you do is you take those and you slot them in here. If you don't, Let's pop this ramp on this side here. Pop your ramp on. If you don't, what happens is you end up with this. Oops, might have to actually slot it in. Um, you end up with these gaps here. We don't want any gaps, so we use these bits here, and we pop. We pop one in like that, and we pop one in like that. Push it down, and there you go that covers it up. So when you build up now, you now have this sheer face and in fact you wouldn't have that there would you? You'd have a ramp on one side like so and you put that on the top like that and you've got your walkway on one side and it leaves a nice sheer face on here which looks totally cool and you can still utilize these slots here to have torches or struts coming down or whatever looks fantastic that is what these are for now you'll notice when you're looking at these that on every sheet you get a whole load of these and you get one that's just a little bit too long and you're like what what why is that okay the reason is is because when you use a doorway to build up on the next level there is you cannot replace this clip here with a multi clip okay you can't replace it with one of these cool clips which means that there is nowhere to put something like this in to hide this gap here so what you do is this you take off one of these ones here and you replace it with one of the long ones which extends far longer than its own wall then you use the multi clip as usual on your door. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, let me get one of these out. Um, you use your multi clip as usual on the door over here to allow you to uh, to cover your gap here. And when you slot this wall in here, that extra piece covers up the gap from here. And that is why you'll have a long one. So if you know you're going to put a door here, you can just pop this this extra long here and it covers it up whenever you've got a door here as well because you've got these bits sticking out it's always going to lead to somewhere so there's always going to be a bridge or something going on along here and so those bits kind of hide themselves anyway um, which is really really cool so there you go that's how you use your fascias and that's also everything on the um, on the stairs and balustrade sheet cool